Autofoam versus Touchless by Build Hammer. They're going to be used on a dry surface, and what we're going to do is we're going to see which one performs better as a pre wash. We're not going to pre soak the panel, we're going to put it on dry, uh, and hopefully the sun goes down on the other side so we can get a fair comparison. So the ratio that I'm using is a 25 to 1 ratio and it's already mixed up in here starting with the autofoam. So let's get the spray pattern right. Alright. So maybe let's get a really good look here. prior to covering the whole thing. Hopefully that's picking it up. This thing is really, really dirty. I mean incredibly dirty. Dirty, dirty. Okay, now we wait. Okay, so we're about three minutes in. Uh, it's starting to dry on the surface. The car is ceramic coated, so it doesn't want to stick to that at all. But let's go ahead and spray it down at three minutes.
Okay, now we're gonna let it dry. And I'm not sure how well this is picking this up, but this thing is still just god awful dirty. A lot of road film. I don't want to really touch this because I don't want to scratch the paint, but you can see right here that uh, it's not so good. It's not like it took off a ton, but we'll let it dry and uh, give it a fair shake. Now we're going to move on to the other side. Okay, so for the second part of this test, we're going to use Build Hamber Touchless. We're going to use the same dilution ratio. And again, this side is filthy. Really, really filthy. So hopefully that's picking it up. So we're going to do the same thing. How's it going? Well, great. I need to bring my car next. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Wow, the suds are way thicker. Way, way thicker. Look at that. Now we're gonna let this sit. Wow, those suds are incredible. So I'm running into the same issue on this side. It's starting to dry up quicker than the five minutes. So we'll give it the same amount of time as last time, a couple minutes. And we're almost there. And then we'll rinse it off.
just looking at it, it looks a bit better. You can see it still has quite a bit of the film that was on there before. And that's why I wanted to test it on a super dirty car because you should really see a big difference if there is a big difference. Okay, so it did pretty good. Of course, there's some more to spotting. Obviously, I got a little closer here. The point was not to blast it off. The point was to stay far enough back to see how much the product really removed. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it removed quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and flip the car around. We'll let this side dry and then we'll do uh, one last quick take. Unfortunately, my camera shut off before I could get the rest of the video done here. However, my take is this. I was really surprised that, that the auto foam performed much better than the touchless. Once the water dried on both sides, it was clear that the auto foam gave a much better result than the touchless. So to my surprise, that's what happened. And on that note, I would say we can go ahead and end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet already, go ahead and please subscribe. That'd be great. That would help me out tremendously in the future. And I hope you're having a great day or great night and we will see you on the next one. Take care.